Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are in Sea of Thieves. Uh, I'm flying solo right now. So I might be a little choppy. I, uh... My arms are a little wobbly. <laughs> I spent like three hours today tamping down cold patch asphalt and, uh... <laughs> My arms, my upper body really is not very appreciative of the fact that I did that, so... I'm a little wobbly. So my mouse is a little jittery. I apologize for that. Okay, let me check my ledger stuff. Let me see what we have going on here. Nope, okay, so I maxed out the season. That's good. Uh, rep. Let's check the Reapers. 68... Alright, I think I'm locked in pretty well here. Um, let's see, I got 19 days. I probably should run Reapers again. If not tonight, then Sunday. Uh, Merchant Alliance. Maybe we'll do Merchant Alliance again tonight. Do another Merchant Alliance commission. Let me see if there's any Reapers on the field. Because I'm either going to do that, or I'm going to do PvP. If I do PvP, I'm going to do Reapers. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to get some supplies and then roll out. Okay. Looks like I may be doing PvP. Because I'm not about to just... End up hanging out here get in a fight with several other reapers. Okay, there's a grade one. Where's the other one? Snake Island. You know what? Let's just do PvP. Stand a bit closer, would ya? Stand a bit closer, would ya? That's not the one I wanted. Wrong <laughs> menu. Can I buy supplies from you? Had a problem finding that. Ask me again. How about the blunder bombs and such? Nope, can't do that either. Okay. Fruit? No, nope. okay. Well, it's worth a shot. Hey, hey, hey. See, I don't really want to buy all this stuff. Because I might just get totally trounced. But... Back to the sea, yeah? At the same time, every time I don't buy supplies, it's one of those, if I'd had some more supplies, I would have won. You know what I mean? Probably won't matter this go-round, but we'll see. I'm in my Discord chat, so if Nathan hops in... Uh, we'll know right away. Uh, Chris won't be joining us. He's working this week. He'll be back um, next week. So our sea crow won't be with us tonight. Hunter extraordinaire. I wonder how close he's getting to 50 in the Hunter's Call. I think last I heard he was 30-something, maybe 38. Where am I in the Hunter's Call? Forty-five. He's help he's getting me there. <laughs> oh, okay. I just need two more umber splash tails and I'm done catching those. Damn. Hello, Noodle. Nickels. Look, you big floof. What? You 
your big tail's in my way. There, little noodle. If you're unaware, that's Nichols, my gray cat. I have Nichols and Quarters. And quarters is our black cat. Our void kitty. I need wooden food. Not wooden food, but wood and food. What is that? Don't sit on my hand. Oh, he's laying on my hand. <laughs> Nichols. Don't lay on my wasid hand. Come here, Nichols. Come here. Don't argue. I just wanted you to lay in my lap, not on my keyboard hand. I wonder if it's showing three on the server because there's myself now, another ship that's on the server, and then a third ship that's actively engaged in a battle with another. Like in the Sea of Thieves. And I could do offense or defense. either go great or it will be terrible. I don't think there's going to be an image. Really, I'm doing this kind of... Really, I'm doing this to kind of boost my ledger with the Reapers and to try to get some emissary value. Or, um, some allegiance. That was fast. Guardians of Fortune. Nightshine Parrot set.
turning tighter than he is. If I could get lined up. Let's just turn slightly. Let's see what I'm working with here. How close is that? Come on, baby. Make contact. Ooh, a little short, a little short, a little short. Chain shot. Try to get close to him. I wonder if this guy knows. How these hourglasses work. Now he's turning to fight. It looked like he was turning to run for a second. Nichols. We're making contact here. I think I hit him. Try to board him. He's got the alliance flag up too. Oh, he might not have known what he did. He's not even an emissary. So I misread that whole situation. Don't run for me. Don't do it. Come on, baby. What? Nichols? Quit yelling at me. Come here. Come on. I don't know what your deal is. Ooh. Sneaky beaky right there. Quick, 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 quick. Do I have more holes? I don't think I do. He's dead in the water at this moment. He's trying to get that mast back up, though. I gotta hurry. trying to harpoon me. Dropped his mast again. Grab it. Quick turn, quick turn. Oh no, we're near close enough.
I can't see them. I hear them fixing, but I don't see them. Straight up missed their boat. That's rude and uncalled for. <laughs> Nathan has joined on me in the middle of this. Come on, come on. Sorry, I'm trying to like move my mouse real sent real gentle, but my arm is so shaky. <laughs> it's messing my whole form up. Come on, come back from the ferry. Hello. Hello. I am. I spawned on the ferry. I think. Uh, I'm in or the I, middle I of. Instantly? I'm doing a. Uh, I'm doing an hourglass battle oh. currently. Oh. so you uh, you definitely need some help. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. No. What, no. They're almost dead. Sweet. It won't. Oh. Oh. It won't let you join because it's a solo. Interesting. It will not let you back from the ferry. No. I was like sitting here and I'm just like, why will it not let me? Oh, that was a good I, effort. I just. I just. I got all the credit for it though. Drink increase. <laughs> Indeed. Well played. That was fun. All right. That was great. Good luck on future ventures. Well, uh, that was awesome. <laughs> nice. Yeah, literally, literally all these combinations and <laughs> boosts, everything is hitting me right now. But I was wondering, I was like, I swore I didn't die. I'm pretty sure it just spawned me on, um, the ferry, and then it just would not let me spawn back. Like four people like got on the ferry and got off the ferry, <laughs> in between that time. So yeah, I guess it, it locked you out because it was. That's cool though. So that that means that you can't go in in a solo. Somebody drop in and then you get schooled because they got one extra yeah, person. Yeah, that's you. good. Because I saw that, I was like, oh, that's not fair. <laughs> so I'm glad they did that. All right, where did I sink that ship at? Man, I they just didn't have an emissary. Whole level flag. for the season. <laughs> for the season, nice. And I'm level 10 now with the, uh, I bumped the whole level with the, uh, Servant of the Flame thing. So now I'm level 10. I got a couple of chain shot hits on him. Uh, nice. I hit the mass with some chain shot. You're deadly with that chain shot. I'm not as deadly as I, as I once was. Where are the birds? True. I want what little supplies they had. And see, I hit them with the chain shot down their mast, uh, and then I uh, fired myself over to their boat. There it is, it's dead ahead. Look at that perfection. So my boat was turning a little bit, and I decided, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to. I'm gonna raise the sails, put all the way, put us in a turn, and I'm just gonna shoot myself over towards their boat. That way, I won't go further into the, like the edge of the edge of the map, kind of oh. thing. Let me do that. And uh, yeah, I was like, and I was like, let me check, make sure there's no holes. There's no holes, so I fired myself over, and uh, they almost—they hit my mast directly. They should have taken it down, 
But I hit their mask directly and should have taken it down. So, you know. Yeah. It kind of worked out. I accidentally dropped a um, storage barrel. I like, no, hit well, we didn't it and go it, very like, far. I... So, I mean, I'm sure it's next to the boat. That's what I'm looking for. I can't find it anywhere. Maybe it was. If it's an empty barrel, it'll just sink. So they might not have had anything in it, because I don't know what supplies this person had. I see. It looked like, you know what, it was just a a basic starting... Yep. Where is the storage crate? Where did I put the storage crate? Where did it go? Did you have the storage crate? No. What do you mean, what'd you what did you do with the I set it down, what and now it's gone. What do you mean you set it down? Why... Oh, it's right. Okay, it's right up there. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. What did you do? It's up here. I was showing the stream. My hand is shaky. My hand's real shaky. I spent so today. We went tracking down a leak that has okay. been fighting us for weeks. Like we keep really? getting calls about it, and then we keep finding it, finding something, and fixing it. We go cool. Problem solved. We fixed it. And then, like, two weeks later, we get another call about the same leak. I'm like, are you kidding me? So then we, we hunt it. We get another call about it. And then you dropped it over the edge. Um, so then we then we hunt down the leak. And uh, we still can't find it. Uh, we, fix, we do find something that's leaking. We fix it. We go, cool. Problem solved. Well, this time they called us um, early in the week. And they said, hey... Uh, you guys fixed the leak last time, but the floor is still wet. Well, we fixed the leak last time. It was the second. And they put in the work order on the 11th. So the, the leak is not fixed. The floor is wet because there's still an active leak. So we cut, we cut the wall open and we find a big problem. We cut, we like have to replumb the whole washing machine lines and all that. We fix it. It's all great. It's gravy. It's good to go. And we tell them we fixed it. It's done. It's fixed. Yesterday, they call us and tell us there's a there's a leak. It's coming from the ceiling again. This time, this time though, it was a like barely dripping. And in the past, it's been like raining. So, it's mostly fixed. So we find out the problem is that if there's enough water running, the lines can't hold. They like they back up, and they actually can't. Uh, handle all the water coming through. So on the second floor, they put what's called a backflow prevention valve, which is essentially, you know how a toilet works when you flush it? Okay, well, let's just here. When you flush a toilet, you hit the handle, it pulls a chain up that has a rubber piece that pulls up and lets water come through and then it closes and seals and allows the toilet tank to refill. So this backflow protection, uh, water fills up the pipe, and there's a flapper in the pipe here. And as water fills up the pipe, it pushes the flapper up and closes it, so it won't flow back out of the top. Well, it wasn't working. So we got another backflow protection valve, um, which is actually, this one's spring-loaded, so when it gets enough pressure, it pops the spring open and it dumps the water out. Well, it was too strong, and it wasn't letting any water through it, so we had to, like, MacGyver it. <laughs> we ended up getting it working, though. Um, we ended up cutting out all kinds of crap. All kinds of trash pipe, and just making it work. What's our... Hourglass is worth 10,000, so that's good. Um, so we, we finally fixed that. <sighs> We had a lady's toilet that was, if a toilet is sitting, here's the wall, and it's sitting, you know, perpendicular to the wall like it's supposed to. Let's call that 12 o'clock. Her toilet was sitting at 2 o'clock. So, instead of sitting like this, it was sitting like this. So, her flange was broken, so we had to call the plumber out to rebuild that. We don't know how bad it is. I didn't even pull it. I was just like, yep, flange is dead. <laughs> uh, then we got a call about a sink we worked on yesterday. Um, was leaking. Well, it wasn't the sink. Uh, it was the disposal housing just gave up and started dumping water everywhere. 
So we had to replace that, but we don't have disposal, so we yanked the disposal out. We had to totally replumb the line, but we didn't have a connection for the dishwasher, so we had to send our supervisor to go get one. And while she was there, she got like 1,600 pounds of uh, cold patch asphalt. So I spent about three hours setting, sculpting, and tamping oh my down God. cold patch asphalt. Uh, so my... My whole upper body is very sore and tired. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's why I was muted with the kid, but I heard I all figured that's what it was when I said, when I asked the question, paused for far too long, and then just answered yep. the question anyway. <laughs> yep. We were like, so you know how toilet works? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, I oh, shit, I'm muted. And then I was like, oh, and there's no, I'm away from my phone, I can't unmute myself. No, Cameron, I'm sorry. And then you're like, well, and I was like, damn it. <laughs> I figured that's what it was. Well, so I had just changed uh, Aiden's diaper right before I joined. So I was like, cool, he's going to have a fresh diaper. He's clean. He just ate. Dude's, like, wanting to play in here, like, with his toys. We should be good to go. He's going to play with his toys. Dad's going to play with his. And, of course, the little man decided, you know what? I'm going to take a shit real quick. Right as we get started. <laughs> and immediately just, I smelled it. He stood up and just started screaming at me. And I was like, let me take your diaper. And I was like, yep, yep, there, there's poop. Cool. Thanks for waiting until it was a clean diaper, I guess. <laughs> is he playing a xylophone? <laughs> yeah, actually he is. He's banging on it. He has one. I can hear it clanging around. <laughs> clang, clang, oh, clang, 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 clang. <laughs> but it's just when you're talking. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Apologies. It's okay. You know. So Background music. What do you want to do? You want to go hunting again? Do you want to do something else? Um, I'm down to be on the defensive because I feel like that's when we always do our best. Okay. And so we can leave it just chilling until somebody rolls up on us and then we can fight them. Uh, and then aside from that, we can do world events. We can do other things. If there's a new adventure or something, we can go do that. There is like, not an adventure currently. Okay. Uh, world the world event. is our I'm looking for one. a world event. It's probably behind that storm. More than likely. But I can't tell if that's the fake storm. Ow. I think it's the fake storm. Because I don't see another one. But the real storm might be in front of the fake storm. Ah. Uh, I really hate that they have the fake storm. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, well. Oh, that is the real storm. So the north by northeast is the real storm, and then due north is the fake storm. I can see it. Oh, yeah. Further away. Okay, cool. So that time I actually got somebody <clears throat> who I probably shouldn't have been fighting. <laughs> I don't know. They didn't have an emissary flag. They weren't a captain ship. They had the alliance oh, flag up. So it finally pulled you down to lesser people because me and Jay and Scala have just been bringing it down for you. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just, you know. And it could be somebody that's that's pretty good when they're playing with somebody else, but flying solo, they're not as good. You know? Right. Here you go. Let's do the... Uh, Go ahead and vote for that quest. Okay. Sweet. Legend of the Veil. Vale. Um. I'm level uh, 69 for the season. Nice. Isn't about gold or even glory. It's about protecting the life we hold. You know what's fun about it being 69, Cameron? This is the I know. It's also about 69. It holds Crooks the power hollow. to open a permanent doorway to the sea of the dam. It's I almost level 70. And yeah, I yeah. The power. Power. Yeah, yeah. The boundary between our <laughs> sea of thieves and the sea of the dam. That's how I actually had no intentions of going dirty with it. No double entendre? However, to use the None. Power, Completely innocent. One of the few moments in my life. Three stones that were taken from it we were at uh, Total Wine and More because Tabitha wanted to go. There are others seeking the stones. And uh, Love while, that while we were there, I noticed that Fever Tree Ginger Beer was uh, two for ten, and I was like, "Getting some." <laughs> 
even though I have some at home. Because what I've been doing lately is I've been making Moscow mules. Everything you need and oh, yeah. I have also been, um, Good luck. I've also I'm been too. making highballs, but instead of using club soda, I've been using, uh, Fever Tree Ginger Beer, which is infinitely better like that. Um, I have, so I love Fever Tree. It's delicious, but I also, um, get reeds. Um, craft ginger beer, and they have a yeah. Fever Tree is expensive enough. I'm not buying craft shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I don't get it very often. I splurge. Um, I usually have it for Friday nights when we play. <laughs> that's, that's my drink. Um, but it's uh, you can have normal, then you have extra, and then they have the strongest, which is 200 percent more ginger than our original. Jesus. Ish. Bosh. Yeah. It's I, real good, though. I imagine so. I, can't, I like. I don't want to drink it like straight up. It's for it. Like if I'm gonna be making a dark and stormy or a ginger beer. Like there's a sleep right here uh, sailing towards fuel. us. Oh. No, they're just steaming by. Oh. Okay. Um. Well. Steam on by, and then if they want to die. We'll assist them in that endeavor. But yeah, it's it's really good in like any kind of mixed drink or like um, dark and stormy, Moscow Mule, anything like that. Just because like once you add the ice and all the other stuff, it kind of like a normal ginger beer will lose a little bit of that punch. So I get this uh, the two hundred percent extra, so that it doesn't get watered down it's it's still got a really big punch yeah so i i like it it's not a captain ship nope but it's also just plain no it's default. not it's not default it's, i don't think so that's the default sales, is it, not? it is the ain't one of the way i was looking at it sorry the way i was looking at it it looked like it was uh like the sails were a darker color when we were coming up ah. on it Because you can buy sails that are just a, a solid color. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through it, just watching the guy, and I was like, okay, he's loading up the. Ah! Camera in my face. <laughs> um. Well, aside from you having to do that awful thing with asphalt um, and finding that leak, how uh, how else has work gone for you? I mean, that was just it. Like that's that was the yeah. whole the whole day. Ugh. Hopefully, you're not on call. No, I'm not on call. Thank God. Okay. I feel like every time I talk to you, you're on call nowadays. Well, that might change. Um, we finally got a groundskeeper. So we've got a groundskeeper who's okay. managed to make it a week. And this guy has been going berserk on picking up grounds. Uh, and then we met a guy Thursday who is a maintenance tech at another property that is owned by mm -hmm. the store that's run by the same uh, company I work for. And so he injured his back. It wasn't while he was at work, but he injured his back, and he his doctor told him that he is he is not allowed to lift more than twenty five pounds, and he works at a two man oh, maintenance wow. crew property, and the owners are like, we don't have the money for this, like we're gonna have something's gonna have to give, and they don't want it, they don't want him anymore. Um, but that sucks. we were like, um, my supervisor said, I mean, there's plenty he can do at our property. Hell yeah, you and another guy. Um, I forget his name. Cody. Cody, you and Cody can do all the heavy lifting over right. twenty pounds. Well, and, and apparently, at, at his property, the the owners bought it thinking it was like a an A plus property. Mm -hmm. Because they went, and they checked out a couple of units, and they spruced the hell out of these units. Uh, but the rest of the property was a big pile of garbage. Oh no! And so they don't have. They spent like all their money buying the property, and they don't have any money to do much else so basically what has been happening is they have said 
Okay, we don't have money for this, so you guys do the painting. You guys do all the drywall drywall repair. You guys do all this. Uh, which he can do all that, so, like, our supervisor could literally just throw him in turns and be like, you just do this. Oh, is this a, it's a coral message in a bottle? Nice. We're doing that. Heck yeah. But we won't, we can't do it with the hourglass. There's, okay, that's fine. There's no we way we would get back. No. But we can sell it, we can sell the hourglass, and then we can go do the Shrine and of Hungering. Oh, I know where that is. I can just watch the ship while you go do it. Like we did last time. A couple yeah. weeks ago. Hello, I'm Bell. I've got some information for you. Use this special lantern to light the way for the boss fight. That's not how. That's how Bell talks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Call that's, blimey, that's British and such, <laughs> pish posh and all that. Ferryman's intent enchanted lantern. Wednesday, I texted the group and was like, hey, anybody down to sail? And you were like, yeah, after I get done streaming, uh, but it'd be around 10 o'clock and I'm just sitting there. And you know that meme with that woman that has all the different, she looks confused and has all those math problems? Yes. <laughs> that was my face trying to figure out. I was like, but it's Thursday, it's Wednesday. That's, or, or the one where uh, it's like, uh, I can't believe you guys are going to just are gonna or dungeon master you guys it took me so long to get this ready i had to 3d print so many rocks and then uh somebody says why didn't you just go outside and pick some up and then it like shows the cat with like the loading circle on its forehead <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that was that was me because i was just like oh my god it was it had been a day and for some reason i was like yeah it's thursday cameron's not streaming maybe jay or charlie or somebody's not doing pizza because it's not the weekend yet and I have the night off. Let's 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 sail if we can. And then no, it it was definitely well. And then I finish streaming and I go in the bedroom with Tabitha. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna put Tabitha to bed. Then I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I yep, woke up at two thirty in the morning and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, at this point I'm rolling over Whoops. and going back to bed. No, I had to get up and take the dog out. And then I had to put okay. I had to put like what was left over of dinner away. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, I've done that before too. Yeah, you're like, okay, I'm gonna put her down and just snuggle with her for a second, and I'm gonna come back down, do dishes, put away dinner. And then yeah. I had to set and the alarm. Like, like, I had oh, to god, set our, yeah. our alarm system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a whole thing. God. And then by the time you want to go back to bed, you're like wide awake again, so it takes you a little bit to wind back down. Well, thankfully it wasn't that bad. Okay, good. Oh, a peculiar relic. Oh, that's cute. How peculiar. I hope you're not too far from the boat. I'm on the boat. Okay. I'm, my, my, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm doing nothing but defense. We don't have Scala, so I'm, and this storm's rolling in, so the water's going to be building up on the ship. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. Yeah. So I know my duty. If uh, if someone does spawn in, just drop the sails, take us off, get us rolling, and I'll mermaid cool. back as soon as I as soon as I can. Works for me. We're clear right now. The only way somebody would roll up on us now is if they come on this. Um, back side of the island, that sloop that was over there, if it like kind of comes back around. Yeah. Um, if they come on either side of the island, or if they, somebody comes through the storm, that's really the only way we would get messed up. Oh, I miss Jay. He should be sailing us through this.
Uh, question. What are you and Tabitha doing around March or April? Well, March 9th, I'm getting my... I've, I've got that class. Right. Uh, oh. I remember that. Uh, I don't know. Outside of that, I don't know. Okay. Um, oh, it's right here. Trying to see if people would be down. Mainly just you and Tabitha, like Joe, Alicia, maybe Charlie or somebody. Um, just see if some people wanted to go down to the beach and see Patrick, Mary Kate, and meet the new little kiddo. Okay. And we could all just have. Just, or like we call meet somewhere else. I was just thinking like I wanna I wanna see everybody because I haven't seen everybody since your wedding. Right. Um and like we're all just gonna spread out. So I'm trying to think of like somewhere we could all just kinda meet and hang out for a, a weekend. Um and I know around March or April their new kid would be around three or four months old. So that kinda gives them a, enough time to get kinda settled into a new routine and kinda yeah. figure it out a little bit so it won't be quite as new mary kate will have time to heal all that good jazz so but figured since they have the three kids maybe we can go to the beach to them see them um but if they're if they don't want to do the beach if they wanted to actually go somewhere maybe we could figure out something else i don't know just asking around uh, seeing what everybody's schedules are and if they would even be down that was real weird I walked What's through the weird? ferry door and it didn't like act like I went through the door. But I was on the other oh. side of the door and I had to walk back through it to get here. <laughs> Interesting. Full swing in the storm now. Let me know if you need me. Okay. know how that works. How is it weak to be alive? Wait, what? All the phantoms like, to be livid is to be weak. Oh. Don't be living your weaklings. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like that's not true. Seems inaccurate. Just slightly. I got him. Mortal weapons! Ha! Shouts crap like that at me constantly. <laughs> you just keep holding that bail stone. I'll be there in a second. Wait. The re emissary flag for Reapers? The circle. When you're grade three, it has three pieces. Yeah. I had no idea the flag represented your, showed like what level you were. Yeah. All of the emissary flags do that. No shit. Yeah. That's how I know what grade people are when we roll up on them. 
Except for Reapers, you know. Like, ooh, there's a grade three emissary over here. You huh. Yeah. I saw you just noticed that? Damn, yeah! I was just happened to like be on the boat and I just looked at the at the emissary flag at the back of the ship and I was like, wait a minute. Why is it not a full circle and it's only got three? And then I look and I'm like, wait, we're we're level three. Wait, is it three because we're three? And then we hit level four and yeah, it went to four and I'm like, oh my like, god! Wow! <laughs> Man. The amount of times that I can play this game and still find something new never ceases to amaze me. Never ceases to amaze me. I don't understand. I mean, these. hell. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, Cameron, are you really surprised? Like, what, three months ago, I realized tomatoes weren't in the game. <laughs> right. I didn't realize it was three months ago, but yes. I, I mean, it was like three, four months ago. It was sometime, like, end of. middle to end of last year. West of Plunder Outpost. It was not too recent, but not far, that long ago either. Okay, we'll need to head southwest. But we're not going anywhere yet. I still got a bunch of crap to collect. So. Okay. Well, it's, it's fine. I can't even tell which direction we're still going because the compass is still acting like we're in the storm and going nuts. So we walk I into an apartment. I, I have a video that I tried to post in the Discord, but it won't let me. Because it says it, quote, oh. it contains, quote, explicit content. Oh! You just got struck oh, by God. lightning. What happened? I had my hourglass out. I didn't think that would attract the lightning. Well, I mean... I we were safe. You'll, you, uh, you got a lot of metal on you. You'll still attract lightning. Oh, that was so awful. I was not expecting that. Okay, anyway. So, continue. Ow. Hold on. Skeleton attack. Um, you getting caught on fire. What, what, what was I discussing? What was I talking about? Saying something about going into an apartment. Oh, uh, oh shit. Which apartment? You were just, you were just starting a, a, a sentence. So I know. I had nothing else. And then I got attacked by a bunch of skeletons and you got struck I by lightning and it threw me off. Just a lot. Hmm. <clears throat> Damn it. It has left me for That's like the most annoying thing. I know. That's the most annoying thing. Wow, that was really close. What were we talking about before I said anything about the apartment? You said something and it triggered whatever I was thinking. Um, about. It had been like three or four months since I had thought about tomatoes. Of the tomatoes I thought were in the game. I've, um, I've lost it. I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah, I have no idea. You, were, you said we went into this apartment. I know. Because, well, that's how every story I tell starts, so it doesn't narrow it down. Right. <laughs> well, and the, well, the, problem, the problem is, literally, uh, that's what you said, and I went, Aah! And then I had to stop, and I was trying to figure out what happened. Yeah, I mean, well, shit, I was trying to figure out what happened, too. <laughs> like, why am I on fire? I made sure not to have my sword out. I don't know, was there like somebody stupid? Like, is there an idiot story? That's half of my stories. This is true. What? Oh, it's raining still. Hello, take the chicken. Thank you. <laughs> oh, ocean crawler. Hello. Excuse me, pardon me. I wish I could remember what I was talking about. I wish I could remind you. I didn't get into any details at all that would give me any information. No, you, you didn't do anything because I literally, the moment you said that, 
I was on fire. It was the worst possible moment. And I can't, like, back it up to see what we were talking about. I know. <laughs> no, you're gonna, you're gonna make... You're gonna post this uh, stream and you're gonna make clips and you're gonna go back and watch that moment. And you're gonna be like, son of a bitch, that's what I was gonna say. And then you can text me it. Oh, there's a lot of slithering snakes on this island. Why did I come here? Gonna set this over here because it was on the island, so I scooped it. <laughs> Oops. Well, we have to sail. Here's what we can do. If you want, we can stop at Plunder Outpost and we can get rid of our hourglass. And then we can just do quests and not worry about getting accosted by anyone. Yeah. Shrine of Hungry. There we go. Ugh. Isn't, this is the one that sucks. Yeah. Great. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. Let's sell. Let's go ahead and get rid of the our, hourglass. Let's get what we can for it. And then keep our emissary status. And then we'll stack we can go down to her. Yeah. Sounds good. And go southwest. Southwest. All right. I thought you said east. I was, so I was talking to Tabitha about the people in the office at my property, and uh, I said, so tell me this, do you, what do you know about your units? I said, because one, somebody at my, in my office asked me, uh, they needed to pull keys for all the apartments in one building, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now mind you, this person has worked on the property longer than I have. Okay. Okay. She said, how many units are in this building? I said, 12. She's like, are you sure? I was like, yes, I'm sure. I was like, there's 12 units in building 1001, 1011, 1021, 1031, 1041, 1500, 1510, and 1530. All of those buildings have 12 units because, and, and they're all, like, all the numbers are the same. Or all the units are the same. Because on the first floor, every one of those buildings, it goes A, B, C, D. The second floor, E, F, G, H. The third floor, they skip I because they thought it would look too much like a 1, so they go J, K, L, M. All of those buildings. They're all exactly the okay. same like that. Okay. I was like, I just don't understand how you don't know that. <laughs> it just boggles my mind. I had to go with pest control to inspect um, pretty much all of the apartments. Um, on that side of the property. Just because... Or not not on that side. Uh, in, in one specific building. Because somebody has... Uh, roaches real bad. And they're spreading to the other units. And it's starting to drive the other residents insane. Um, so... I was told by the regional manager... She said, this the this one person in the building says that she's going through chemo, so wear a mask if she lets you into the apartment. I was like, okay. No worries. She's like, and if she doesn't, let me know. So, okay. So I go over there. I tell the pest control guy we're going to go there first, because one, I want to get it over with, and two, I don't want to have to worry about a stupid mask. 
uh, the whole time I'm in the building. I just want to go there and get right. it over with. He's like, okay. He's like, I'm just going to wear my respirator. <laughs> I was like, hey, whatever. There you go. That works for me. It works. So we go over there and I knock on her door and she opens it and she says, I told y'all you can't come in here. I've got a lawyer on this. And I was like, okay, have a good day, ma'am. <laughs> yep. All right. Go politely fuck yourself. Like, do you want anything to happen or not? And then also, like, uh, the dude's wearing a respirator and you're wearing a mask. Ain't shit gonna, like, happen. No, she's just, she's just been a pain for everyone. Sounds she's, like it. She's, it has gotten to the point with this specific resident, and I won't go into any, like, further detail. Um, but it has gotten to the point with her where she is not allowed to contact the office directly anymore. She has, really? to, she has to contact a lawyer, like our our lawyer, to put in work orders. Oh wow! Because it's just every time it's something else. Like I went upstairs to knock on, like I after that we went to the top floor, and we did the four units, and we went downstairs and we did the four units. But I got to the unit above hers, and I knocked on the door, and she's got two hound dogs, or she's got a hound dog and another dog, and her dog starts barking. I, it couldn't have been. A minute and a half I'm standing out here and I hear that same woman screaming shut up I was like oh god like she's screaming at the top of her lungs <laughs> at the dogs at the at, yeah oh my god it's like you live in an apartment lady you're gonna just have to deal with it. did you fall off the boat I did it's okay Bye, I heard when you get I heard curse sploosh and it's like you fell off the boat well, it's just the two of us, so I need to get back to my janitorial duties. Fair, I guess. Somebody's got to do it. Yep. And it looks like I'm literally... Okay, there we go. I was like, I might have to swim all the way to the island. But come on. No, you won't. It'll eventually give you a mermaid. I just wanted to make you yeah. wait because you were being dumb about it. Yep. Well, I was trying to jump off on the back part of the ship, and I just misjudged like, it, Parkour! or the game went, or the game went, huh? and then you fell, <laughs> like it I, likes I to do. Like game, I think the game was like, Ugh! it's been and doing that to me it. lately. Because I mean, all I did was like I was right here in the corner, and I went up like this, and for some reason. Instead of being right here on the corner, I just went completely off the edge. And it made no sense, but here we are. Alright, let's go sell the hourglass. I would laugh if somebody, if somebody rolled up on us as soon as we got here. Like, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it! <laughs> nice. Ooh, we're grade four, so we got an extra ten grand for that! Holy oh. crap! Wow, I was not expecting that. I didn't know 20. that happened. Okay. Twenty grand? Thank you. That was. That How much was rep nice. are we gonna get for that? Uh, I got a quarter of the of the next level from ten to basically I was right even at ten. Now I'm like ten fifteen. <laughs> the wealthy witch. Uh, I'm so close to level fifty with the Reapers. Give it to me. Well, all right, what's our heading? We got T minus an hour, not even. Uh, due west, I see the birds. Okay. Oops. I was going heading to the front of the ship because I was thinking brig. I I've done that like four times. So I'm like, all right, headed to the oh no, the acre is behind me. Yep. All right, due west. I'm standing in the wheel. I know, I, I can care. see the birds. 
The ship's on autopilot. It is. Because you're invisible, I can't see you. Can you let go of the wheel? You're sailing away from the birds. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even see the birds yet. They're out just to the, just a hair to port side. Very close. You still not see them? No! Okay, look at the water. Just off the port's, port bow. And then look. Oh. Okay, so you see yep. that? Now look straight yeah. up. I do. No, no, as soon as I saw that, I looked up and saw the birds. But I, <laughs> I, until I could see the shipwreck, I couldn't see shit. I was like, where are these freaking birds? <laughs> Alright, go do your thing. I'll keep a lookout. Raise the sails. Get us ready to roll. You don't have to worry about it as much now, since, you know... I have to worry about it! I'm always ready. Ah, the, uh, Coast Guard motto. Semper Paratus. Always ready. I really looked into the Coast Guard for a little bit. Hello. Glad I didn't go down any of those roads, but I definitely thought about it. Oh, this is the one where it's like four shipwrecks in a row. Yeah. Oh, God. I thought you were keeping an eye on the boat. I was just kind of <laughs> swim down here and look at something and then... You know I gotta give well, me hell. You gotta give me hell. You gotta give me hell. Well, the ship's Okay, I got her ready to go. Especially you just went, I have to worry about the ship. I can't help but worry about the ship. Hey, Nate, how's the ship? <laughs> I don't give a shit! <laughs> I'm over here looking through this boat wreckage, sir. Hey. I am also looking through the boat wreckage. Because I was just like gonna like take a look and just like peek down at you in the water and just be like, hey, Cameron. And then I saw that it was like all the ships, and I'm like, oh well, he probably needs help because this is gonna take a while. It won't take that long. Also, also there's you... nothing in this ship. Yeah, because that's the one where you have to get the key to open the uh the loot room. Well, I I saw that, but I figured you know there might be something else. Of worth. No, I do. I always check it though. Every time, I can't help it. Still good. Okay, coast is clear. All righty. swim. I got some trophy fish I need to sell. Nice, what ship were you in? The one really deep, but I'm about to suffocate. There's there's air oh, pockets there's on air, the boats. Yep, I'm trying to find it. Okay, is that the one I need for the uh, our main ship? Yes. Okay, I'm coming back up. Now, just one thing I will tell you: once you get, you'll find a veil stone in uh, the treasure chest. Pull it out of that container and just set it like set it down on top of the boat. Say that again. Like when you you'll get a chest. Okay. Right. Once you get the chest, once you get the chest and take it up to the top, one of the items in the chest is a veil stone. I see. Take the chest up, set it next to the wheel. Take out the the thing, the the veil stone, and just place it 
near like the capstan or the wheel. Don't actually put it into the into the uh, the veil mask or whatever the hell it is. Because once you do that, the like the tornado of fate becomes visible to everyone on the map. Let's not do that. Right. And I'd rather us just check all the treasure. And I do have some loot floating in the Agua next to the ship. I see it. I'm about to get it. Oh, stop drowning. Ooh, I can't breathe. Blue. So this Pat guy is going to be working with us. He seems like he's going to be a good fit. Um, he's going to be working with us temporarily, though. Maybe for three weeks or so. Maybe it's two, and then he finds out if um, he has to if he has to have surgery on his back, or uh, you know if he'll be able to go back up to like full capacity or what'll happen he doesn't know yet no, like, it'll be temporary he'll probably go back to his old property after that's done and I'm like I don't know he may be like can I just stay here <laughs> right he has more help uh, I'm gonna be busy for two seconds Cameron I'm on the ship everything's on the ship Bless you. <laughs> and to poke fun at Tabitha. She sneezed. <laughs> and to give her attitude. into the ship and pop out on this side. I know Nathan didn't get it. There it is. fish off. Doop, 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 doop. I'll have to sell those too. So he found that deepest shipwreck. I wonder if that means... I 
I wonder if you checked that piece or no, it's just that piece, that blown out one. I did not check anything else in the ship. I just, in the captain's quarters that was behind a painting, I got the key. was demanding a bottle. So I had to go make one. I will murder you. <laughs> you probably heard him screaming a little bit when I was letting you know. I did. <laughs> yeah, he was letting me know. Oh, okay, cool. You already moved the thing out of the treasure chest. Thank you. I hadn't gotten that far yet. Did you get the rest of the treasure out of that captain's quarters? No. Okay. All, I, all I did was go into that captain's quarters. I was like, oh, a painting. And then I was like... Oh, no, I mean, uh, oh, where me. where you used the key to unlock the boat. Oh, no, I grabbed that chest, came up, and then uh, he was fussing, but I was like, let me just go ahead and get everything out of the water that I can, and then okay, cool. I had to put it down. Yeah. Checking these barrels Anything else for floating? Fish. No, uh, everything that was floating I put in the boat. Okay, cool. Tell you one thing, those um, gold hoarder vaults—they are not worth doing anymore. Really? Well, you, when you did when you did the vault, you used to get um, like when you picked up the treasure chests, it would give you credit towards your um, towards your emissary flag. Yeah. Doesn't do that anymore. It hadn't done that for a minute, but it just, I don't know. I, I feel like they're not worth doing unless you're already grade five. And then the treasure value, then the treasure value is fine. It's just up until that point, it's just you're not, not worth doing. Extra, it's not worth it because you're not going to add to your rep value. Right. It's, it's, a, well, it's not anything good to get you to grade five, but once you are grade five, they're worth doing. I'm glad we did all that grinding and got that out of the way before it stopped. Yeah. Man, we haven't, I mean, gosh, we haven't done a vault in a long time. I actually did one the other night. Did you? Yep. Well, I guess you, I guess you had to, though. I have a... Well, and the only reason I did it was it was uh they did I did a mercenary voyage to see what it was and it did the merchant alliance uh, find the the ship's log and the sunken ship oh yeah it was do it was a ghost fleet and it was the uh, it was the uh, what's it called um, the treasure vault that's how I know that mm. 
Okay. Okay, just got those two other relics out of the water. So we should be good to go. Got one more right oh. here. Maybe that'll get me just enough. Come on, baby, get us to level five. We still have another, uh, th we have a third leg. We have to go blow up, like, do the, the ghost tornado and blow up all the the fort oh. and get all the loot. So we're getting to grade five. Do not worry, good sir. <laughs> here, take all the tiny loot, except for that veil stone, and just stack it, like, right over here by these barrels. That works. Just to kind of get it out of the way. Yeah, so that way when we go to do, when we go to use the treasure chests, we'll just, you know, be yep. able to, we'll go, oh, there's all the little loot. <laughs> I'm going to put all the treasure chests back here and the rest of the treasure we're going to stack up. Right here. Okay. All right, Veilstone. Where are we going? Southwest of down to the last stone. The serpent will do all in his power to protect him. So we south by southwest. Show him that we're willing to do anything to obtain it. Okay, so Nathan, here's here's the plan. This time when I've got the boat set in a steady, like, lazy turn, leave it the hell alone. Don't move it. Well, also, this time I'm not on a gummy, so I, I should be fine, Cameron. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, oh. but chill out. Okay, give me one sec. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something. I'm going to uh, take a seat right here. Yep. And I will be right back.
Holy Jesus. Cameron! I'm coming. Don't close that. Uh, I'm on repairs. Oh, help me with fucking water. That, it all happened so quick, and I'm just like, Cameron, no. We got here way faster than I thought we were. Oh, uh, yeah. I was like, Cameron, cool. Oh, oh, he's not here yet. Oh, he's still not here. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, I just oh, went downstairs, and, like, I had a I had a drink made sitting in my in my shaker. Yeah. So I was just throwing some ice in it, and I was like, doot, 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 gonna drink, gonna drink some liquor. <laughs> I just hear death happening, and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's not good. Gosh, so many holes in the boat. Alright, you can steer and... Oh my god. First one's down. Okay. You can steer and fight. I will fuck it and repair. Oh, not a problem, sir. Cool. There it is. There's the other hole. I was like, come on. I got a hole somewhere. Hiding from me. That's good. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Definitely didn't run into where the fort used to be, like where the fort's dirt was, so. Nope. Uh, no worries Definitely there. Definitely not. Okay. Finally, no holes. <laughs> I've been repairing holes the whole time since you got back. I know. It was just one after another. I was like, oh my god. So here's what we're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. We're gonna finish this quest. We're gonna go sell everything, but we won't lower our emissary flag. And then mm -hmm. I'll end the stream, and I'll have to hop off for a few minutes. But I'm still down to keep playing afterwards. I just won't be able to stream. Yeah. Um. I am also down. Do. Do we just lower the emissary flag just so we can get the rep, and then we just get back on? Because I'll no. probably. I I plan on not hopping, like not being off for more than like five minutes okay got it um because whenever this because we got 30 minutes left I, that's probably when i'm gonna put aiden down for bed so that might take me about 20 30 minutes depending on how quickly he goes to sleep but once he's down as long as he stays down i'm also down to keep playing okay it just it'll be more than five minutes for me like five, I mean, between five and ten minutes, probably. Okay. I just don't want it to for us to just be sitting here and then um, it log us out and we lose the emissary status. Right. Uh, get ready to harpoon that harpoon that crate. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, come on. Ugh. I couldn't see it in the last minute. I've been looking for it and looking for it. I'm like, where is it in the water? Ugh. Oh, come on. I think I really missed that. Thank you. Third time's the charm, I guess. I hate those sometimes because the water's so choppy, you can't really see it until it's too late. Yeah. Dead ahead, I guess. Yep. Cool. I'll uh, make sure you're locked and loaded on both sides. Okay. I am down below.
Oh, I see you got a hit on this one. I did. I got. I tried to get two hits as we were sailing past it. We were just going too fast, probably. We were. We were. I know we were booking it. We were booking it. We got in here way too fast, and I was trying to steer, fight, do repairs, and try to figure out what was happening. All with you, wondering where you were and crying without you. <laughs> Nice. Did you really only have to hit it once? Or twice? I hit it like three times. Cool. <laughs> What'd you do? I shot myself through the like out of the cannon and I landed perfectly on the stairs. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm looking over at the stream. I want to watch that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you could have you could have done that again if you tried. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, I went too far, and I was like, no, I went just perfect. One ahead of us, a little port. Yep, yep. Oh, my God. It also doesn't help that it, like. Uh, it like it's sitting at a level and I'm like cool and then right when I'm about to shoot at it it like just hits a crest of the wave and just launches up and then crashes down I'm like oh my god so annoying you just have so much trouble with the damn harpoon not when not normally it's only when we're in choppy water that's really the only time I struggle I've gotten much better. You have. But yeah, choppy water, it's awful. Cause it's just like, all right, cool. It's right there and it's, it's on the crest of the wave. And, or it's, all right, yep. And now it's down in the bottom. It's in the trough. Oh. Trough, that's what I was like. I know it's called something. The crest is the tip. What's the, what's the bottom part? Trough, thank you. Uh, we got a skeleton galleon yeah, I behind saw us. That. I'm gonna see if there were any other emissaries on the waves, and I don't see them. That's good. Hopefully, it stays that way. I have no desire to see any of them. Or make my money and go home. I was just hearing like storm noises, but they sounded like boat creakings, and I was like, I have to make sure. I know the boat's not, I know that it doesn't have any water in it, I was just looking at it. But I have to be certain. Right, well I mean, there's, because there's been a time that, I mean, in recent memory, there was a hole I didn't know about, and we sank. So it's, I would much rather you just be like, let me check. 
much rather you do that than be like, Nate's got it. It's fine. No, uh, it's, it is not fine. We lost our galleon. Oh my god. Uh, that was a... That was just a really bad timing on a lot of things. Scala was just focused on repairs and said he needed help, but then he just didn't say anything else. And then, um, and like wasn't telling anybody that he was completely submerged underwater. Well, I mean, he was like, help, help, I need help. But then we all thought we helped enough and left. Right, and I, because I, I was taking care of the kid, I was muted because I was taking care of the kid, then I ran back and grabbed it, but it was so, such a bad shape. I didn't have time to unmute myself. I was just sitting there bucketing, 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 bucketing. And then you guys helped, and then as soon as you stopped, we sank. And then there was nothing I could do, and yep. I was just, I was so frustrated because I, all I wanted to do was tell you guys, no, don't stop helping. But I couldn't. It was just, it was so bad timing. Well, and it turns out the problem wasn't below decks. It was the mid. It was the midships. It was. And we didn't realize that literally the whole middle level the of the boat was middle. just oh. holes. So as soon as water holes. touched it, that was it. <laughs> and that, well, that was the issue because, like, yeah, like it, it hit the mid deck because Scala was underwater, and I was I literally was right there at the base of the first stairwell, just bucketing water as fast as I could and just hoping that somebody could see the water just coming out really quickly and would just take a peek but yeah I mean it just happened so fast there's nothing we could do oh buddy they must not get the stone See, if we were real, if we were real competent, these would be good uh, voyages to do before we set sail, before we go hunting, because we get so many friggin' supplies from these. If we stop and we take all the supply crates that we can get our hands on, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, we actually could live through some combat. Oh yeah, this would be, we would be unstoppable. I'm sure there's some people who do this. Yeah. Like, let's load up and then just wreck sh uh, shop. And well, that's what they would do with flame, like the flame hearts. Uh -huh. You could do the the haunting of wherever the hell uh, and battle flame heart. And because you sink so many ships, they just drop the storage crates of the damned. Oh, yeah. And you could just rack up supplies. Probably in a, not a very long amount of time either. It did not take very long, no. Okay. We're all boarded up. And there's a... <laughs> We're all boarded up. How boarded up are we talking? Like, uh, New Orleans be before a Cat 5 hurricane, or what? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, before, before Cat 5.
Thank you, sir. Yep. may or may not have rammed the fort. It had us in too tight of a turn. Oh, it's all good. Grab the cannon, please. Thank you. Clear over. Hit it again. Let's just scrape along the side of it. Now, <laughs> I do apologize. No, oh, it's all good. Um, I got really excited the other day when Patrick said he might get on, but I was like, I was holding my breath. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And he didn't, and I was like, yeah, that's what I figured. I was like, it's probably not going to happen. Probably not. Although it would be cool. It would be cool. Like, he's definitely... Uh, it's frustrating, but I, I mean, I get it. He, he has almost three kids, and he, he works in the food industry. I mean, I, I get it. And not only in food industry, but in management of the food industry. You have you have no time. And the time that he doesn't get, he just spends it at home. So, just sad. I miss the dude. Yep. Charlie and Jared have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Scal is on regularly on the weeks that he's off, and in the week that he has to work, obviously, he's not around. And then, Jay is on be but he also has baby and also has management in food industry so again charlie and jared have no excuse <laughs> right <laughs> uh pretty much the only person who doesn't get on at least every once in a while is patrick like it's i feel like it's very like very rare i feel like i think it was like two months ago i randomly was playing, um working from home kind of sick not feeling good and Jesus. didn't uh I didn't, like, have really anything to do, but my boss was like, go home. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing, but if you say to do that, then okay. Uh, and then I was texting Patrick, and he was like, hey, you're home? And I was like, yeah, go to place in No Man's Sky? I was like, sure. So we played for like an hour and a half. Nice. Yeah, just long enough for me to, like, kind of figure out what the hell I was doing, but not really. And then I was like, okay, well, time for me to go pick up the kid. Bye. <laughs> And I had like I had just gotten off like the starter planet. Right. And I was like, alright, well. I'll probably never play this again. I like the concept, it's just too big. For a game that I don't I'm not invested in, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, um now when Bethesda comes out with their space game. Starfield. Which I'm Starfield, yes. I was like, I, I should know the name of this. I'm going blank. I'm going blank. What is it called? I've seen a million things on it. Yeah, well, now, when Starfield comes out, oh, now that's a different story. You know what the joke is? That about is no Starfield? It's No Man's Skyrim. Is the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, they're probably kind of right, in a way, probably. I don't think kind of is correct. Right. <laughs> I 
Hey, if you could start harpooning the stuff onto the boat. Yeah, that would be great. Sorry, was entertaining my child for a second. I know, that's fine. I'm off Monday, too. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. MLK Day, baby! Heck yeah, I mean, well, I am as well. Like, this is only my second time to ever have this day off. Well, sure my supervisor was like, I'm going to have to work because they want me to do the cold patch. I was like, no. I was like, they're not fucking you out of, out of this out of this day. And she's like, right. what are you talking about? I was like, no, they did it. They did the same thing last year. She's like, what are you talking about? I was like, remember when we got that big, like, freeze and you and Mike had to come out on Monday and throw out ice melt on Monday night? And you could you had to stay at the property and sleep in the model because it wasn't safe for you to go home. She was like, "That was the same day." I was like, "Yeah, it was." Oh my <laughs> god! They she they made her go out and then she got stuck there. Yeah. Oh my god. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's when my you favorite the is that everybody leave. calls it ice melt. You know what it mm -hmm. is. What? Just fucking rock salt. But everybody's got their yeah. own, like, proprietary blend. It's rock mm. salt and some other stuff that melts it. Or you'll get some that have, like, uh, sand and, like, basically bits of gravel, so that way uh, it, can, it helps grip. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Sorry. Um, dang, well, I'm glad you got the day off. That's, that's nice. Doesn't happen very often. No, I, I'm actually awesome. But I got like 115 Ooh. hours of sick time, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't ever use it. I never, I don't ever get sick. Right, oh, no. yeah. That was an so, of a even if I am sick, I do the I do the thing that they're like you're not supposed to do that now. It's COVID. The whole uh, I'm still si I'm sick, but I'm still coming into work because I need money. <laughs> yeah, they they very frown on that now. That's why that was literally why I had to work from home and couldn't do anything. My boss is like, oh, if you're not feeling well, under the weather, if you're feeling under the weather, you should go home. Like, and I'm like, well, I, I really have nothing to do on the computer that I can do at home. Like, it's all it's all gotta be in the office and in the lab, and it's just it's, it's fine. Just do what you can and just just go home. I'm like, uh, okay, you're you're telling me that it's okay to go home and not do anything, but wiggle my mouse and get paid because I have a little bit of a cough and some sinus. Okay. On you, that's not on me. Yeah, I think it's silly, but I mean, if you want to pay me it's for not more doing that silly. shit, it's ridiculous. It is, it is, it is absolutely ridiculous. It is completely ridiculous. But again, it, oh, I see a galleon. Is that the skeleton, or is that a player? Where? I can't tell. Straight ahead to the uh, starboard, just slightly. Uh, that looks like a player. Indeed. Quite. Uh, no, buddy. You are rapidly declining and getting ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, we can lower the emissary I... flag after we sell all the crap. Okay. Start if you can start moving the little bitties all stacked up together. Yes. Is there a sea post? No, there's a sea post after. I mean, there's a chance that could be a skeleton galleon. We're just far enough away; it's not rendered correctly. But I doubt it. It looks like a player. It, it looks like, like a player, player galleon. And by the, when I say chance, I mean it's like a three percent chance. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like they're sailing away from 
us. They're, it looks like they might be sailing towards the world event, actually. Hopefully it stays that way. Oh, buddy. Hey, buddy. North, 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 northy, north, north, north. Oh, buddy. Hey. Hey. Well, I've got you here, though. Check this out. There's Listen. There it is. Refresh this page. Um, I have 138 subscribers on YouTube. In the last 28 days, my channel's gotten 21,000 views, and I have 364 hours of watch time. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Uh, I said I've got like 138 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, 138 subscribers, so I've gotten 84 subscribers Ooh, in the last shit. 28 days. 21,000 21, views in the last 21, 28 days. Thousand? That's in the past 28 days. Uh, and I've got 364 and a half hours of watch time in the last 28 days. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, it's That's awesome pretty neat. Is it, is, yeah, it's more than me, man. Is it all <laughs> Subnautica? It's, well, Subnautica is drawing in people and they're looking at other stuff, too. So, like... I think that's very fitting, because I feel like Subnautica was one of your first ones you did. It was. And then you went, you went back to it, and now it's, like, rewarding you. Um, like, I did a video in Subnautica of 450 views. The one from Sea of Thieves, the 22-second one, where I was, like, uh, the, the ship was, like, freaking out. Uh, that one's yeah. got like 250 views. Hell yeah. It's just the short videos. Yeah, that's a play. I mean, that's, that's the nice thing. So, uh, where are they headed? They're, they're a ways off to the west. Okay, or east, I mean. Okay. And yeah, I mean, the player... Uh, the, um, the short videos are just easier to watch that's gonna obviously well and there are some people who are just watching the short who watch the short videos and then like somebody was like oh i stumbled upon this with this video and they're like i've watched a bunch of your content now you know oh heck yeah and they're like so watching they're watching the streams yeah oh that's like awesome. they're not watching the actual stream because a lot of youtube viewers don't consume content that way right but if I can, I need to get, the problem is going to be getting the subscribers on YouTube. If I get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and then I think it's like 4,000 hours of watch time, I'll, I'll be able to monetize the channel. And if I can monetize the channel, um, then I can do more of this. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Yeah, if you can monetize it, you can do more of it, and then... Maybe one day we can make this all of our jobs. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, like Achievement Hunter. Like, we get enough to you, pay the if... bills, I would quit my job in a heartbeat, buy a freaking computer, and I would be streaming Tabitha with you. Tabitha says, when, when we win the lottery, because she's like, I'm not gonna say if, when we win the lottery. Um, I like that. She's like, she's talking about like us buying all of you guys' computers and then basically paying you for a year, hoping that we get off the ground enough that we can support the, like, the, the YouTube channel off of views and, uh, yeah. and monetizing it by the time the year is up. If we had a whole year to commit to this, Cameron, like a full time job. Oh, all of us playing shit? All of us oh playing. God. All of us being able to stream and getting all of our like getting different screens. So if once like so if you get a well, good view of something and I don't, we can use your 
clip of it. And even it's like then, Achievement Hunter. And even then, like what Neves Gaming does, and I've seen some, and I've like Achievement Hunter would do this too, because um, Neves Gaming is that like they're like a crew of like five or six basically, is the yeah like the main group. And some games are only four players, and so or some games are just two, and then they'll take like two guys from out of the group and they'll stick them over there. So if there's something that just two people wanted to play, uh, and it would make it makes sense, we could I could like throw you and Charlie on it. You know, or, you know, we could do stuff like that. Because different people, you know, we bounce off each other in different ways. It would be very interesting. And actually now, um, Twitch has a guest star feature where I can bring in somebody else if they're recording video. I don't know exactly how it works because I haven't put Google Chrome on my web browser on the... Yeah. On the desktop, just because I don't. The only thing I use the the web browser for on the desktop is t my Twitch dashboard and YouTube dashboard. That's the only thing I use the web browser for. <laughs> the rest of it is <laughs> is streaming and playing games. Is all I is what I use the computer for. Right. So I was like, I'm not even gonna bother with a different browser. <laughs> but it doesn't support. Right now, it only supports guest star in uh, Google Chrome, so I'd have to I have to look into that a little bit and see exactly how all that works. It sounds interesting because Charlie at one point did have his his screen being streamed when we were playing uh, Warzone. Did he? I didn't realize that. Yeah. And then uh, he was like, well, you can, I know you can do this kind of thing. Like, basically, you can stick the screens together. Uh, so that way people can watch all of it. Uh, but it turns out that's just something that, like, the big streamers can do. Like, you have to be a partnered Twitch streamer in order to do that. And I'm only a Twitch affiliate. Good. Good. Legendary Gold Seeker title unlocked. Now you sell all the big stuff and I'll sell all the little bitties. Sounds like a plan. Um, got down here with the kid, so <laughs> trying to do this and have him crawl on me so he can be chill. So he'll be while quiet. He, so he can be quiet just while we finish up real fast. This freaking rowboat just in the middle of our way is funny and also slightly annoying. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm just parkouring over it. <laughs> parkour! Parkour! Parkour, parkour! Yeah, you tell him. My mother was it a is saint! So bedtime. It is so bedtime. Maybe it won't take 20 minutes? I mean, it still could. But I'm hoping that he's so tired and ready for bed that. The moment I get him ready and tucked in, he just is out. Oh, because you're hoping that it won't happen. So do you want to lower know, the emissary flag so you get the credit? We can always yeah, build it back up. You know. We can build it back up. I would rather just go ahead and just sell it. Level 50 Reaper! Wow, wow, wow. Yes! Alright. That's that's really all I wanted to do tonight. So <laughs> Well so the reason I'm happy the, the whole reason I'm like I just want to keep going a little bit, is because I want to get this Breath of the Damn Sea that I've got a quest for. Right, I know. We need to go do that. Because it's such a pain in my ass. <laughs> so it sick is. of it. Well, you'll be so happy once it's done. It's a hundred I mean, point. It's a hundred point uh, achievement, too. Oh wow, is it? Yeah. For completing hey, everything you? that has to do with the uh, with the. 
What's it called? Um, the, uh, the Kingdom of the Underground or something the, Kingdom or whatever it is. Sunken Kingdom. That's it. Sunken Kingdom. That's it. Yep. Yeah. If you get all the commendations for the Sunken Kingdom, um, it's a hundred point achievement. Man. And all I have left is to get like eight Breath of the Sea. Maybe maybe it's less <sighs> than that now. I don't know. Because every time I'm like, it's like 15, and I check it, and I'm like, oh no, it's like 8, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, just slowly grinding down. <gasps> hi, Nathan. Bye, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. <laughs> I was about to say, hi, Nathan. I heard hi, you Nathan. start, you said hi, Nathan. <laughs> I <laughs> know, oh, I'm like, I'm not looking in the mirror, I should not be saying that. <laughs> I was trying to say hi to Herbert and then I just said exactly what you said, and I'm like, my brain is not working. Sir, what are you doing? This is your, this is your brain normal. This is your brain on childcare, and this is your brain on drugs. <laughs> What's the difference? Right. There is no, there is none. Is it bad I'm thinking of buying the Hunter's Call Parrot that looks kind of like a hawk? Nah. Not bad at all. Oh, I didn't even bring Bert Enchilada out tonight. Dang, didn't even think about it. How oh, well. dare you. Such a bad owner. Once we... I am. It's locked in a chest with an air hole somewhere in the ship. <laughs> God, I don't even know if CW is alive. <laughs> I haven't had CW out in ages. Yeah, 72 for the season. We're getting there. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm doing, I'm getting higher sooner this season than I have in a long time. You are. We, um,. Because we managed to I'm get playing. a couple of we managed to get a couple of sinks. You're playing more often than you have been. Yep. Uh, we managed to get some PvP sinks and get some get some good loot. Uh, we, you know, it's it's worked out in our favor. I feel For like sure. I made it to I made it to a hundred faster than I normally do. You've already made it to a hundred? Oh yeah, I made it to a hundred the last stream. Oh wow, good for you. Okay, <laughs> I feel like I, I felt like you were like just like fifteen ahead of me, but I guess um, you played a couple more times without me. And yeah, and one of those times yeah, I turned in like three or four emissary flags. Oh wow, you yeah. know, because <laughs> I sunk a dude who had a bunch of emissary flags. <laughs> Excuse you. Well, that's convenient. Oh my gosh. Just sink one person and then get a bunch of other flags? Hello. Yeah. And that's then I found a and then I found a grade four uh like Order of Souls emissary flag just floating away like floating outside the Reaper's hideout. And I was like, are you kidding me? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. He's wanting to climb me, and I'm not letting him. Mount I'm Dad. I'm mad about it. Literally Mount Dad. Flying Dad Bomb! <laughs> <laughs> we can at least try um, to leave it. We don't. We can lower the emissary flag, but we, don't, we can maybe stay in the game just to see if yeah. we can keep that quest. But yeah, I definitely feel like I'm I'm usually not anywhere near level 70. This like that one season that we had like extra like an extra month or two, like and I still only made it to about level 70. I was so upset because that right. was the I think that was the last time that I paid for the season um uh, You're like I got pass. so much time. I'll get there. Yep, and I didn't. But I feel like I got I've definitely been able to play more regularly this season for sure which has been nice so everything if we hit stacked up I don't right know, if here, I hit 100 
outside the season pass? Like, is there anything? Does the season pass help you rank up faster? Or is it just like no? You get the it extra gets you. Pass? You get the extra stuff, and you get some ancient coin. You get extra ancient coins. Okay. It doesn't do like Call of Duty, where it gives you the like ten percent bonus renown or whatever. Right. Yeah, and you like can level up faster. Yeah. Ow, Tink. Ugh. Yeah, He's everything. He's getting to the stage where he really likes to pull hair. Yeah. Oof. And as a fellow um, man with a beard, just oh, imagine. No, it's I don't have to imagine. Remember Maddie Grace, my little oh, sister. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, she loved to pull my beard, and I hated it. Oh yeah, I hate it. I hate it so much. Beard, and then I, so I have long hair and a beard. Right. So it. Just... Well, and it got to the point where, like, I was like, Maddie was twelve, and she was still doing. It. I'm like, you got to cut that shit out. Oh, absolutely not. Twelve? No. And she do it. She goes, <laughs> "You're funny," and I'm like, "Stop it! It's, it's not funny anymore, kid." Like, this, it wasn't funny really when you really were little, hurt. but you were, you know, I was letting you get away with it then. You're too little to get angry yet. Now, now I'm angry. Got like what? Two more things to sell with that? Four. I set them all on the dock. Yeah, I don't think people realize you get like a boost to the amount of uh, emissary value for being grade five for all the items you turn in. So. See, that's awesome. Right. There's still a couple of storage crates of the damned on the ship, but they're full of supplies and I don't want to get rid of them yet. Totally with you on that. So once you sell that, go to the, uh, go lower the emissary flag and then, um, and then I want you to follow me. Okay. Pledge your loyalty to the flame. Rejoice. Okay. Our follow me, sir. This is where I, I wanted you to go. And then sit on the other hand. Okay, there we go. Alright, well that wraps the stream up for the evening. I want to thank y'all for dropping by and checking it out. I'll be live again on Sunday from 6 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time in Sea of Thieves. Uh, make sure um, if you if you like what you watch, uh, you can follow me on you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. It's just the stream archive, and I'm starting to do videos that I'll chop up and put them out so that way there's shorter content to watch than a two and a four hour stream. Um, I also have a Discord server. You can hang out and chit chat with us there. Uh, I post updates about the stream because I work as a maintenance tech. Uh, I do on call maintenance, so sometimes I'm not able to stream when I'm scheduled because I get an emergency call. Uh, I post updates about those kinds of things on the Discord. Um, but that's it. Uh, thank you all so much for dropping by and checking it out. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your night.